Well, hi, folk. Welcome back. We're busy looking at this exciting uh, uh, topic of map work. And we're now going to look at a different type of map. Remember, we've looked at national road maps. We're now looking at strip maps. Okay, so what is a strip map? Well, a strip map is a map of a section of a route. So if I were to give you this sort of map, for example, and with a bit of imagination, you can see that this is South Africa. Now, a strip map is saying, right, if I'm traveling from Johannesburg and I'm going to Durban, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut this part of the trip. Okay, and I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it like this and I'm going to add a whole lot of information on it. That is a strip map, taking a strip of just the route I need. Now on those maps we usually have the following information. We have names of towns on the route, the distance between towns, names of roads, and sometimes they also include the positions of tolls and petrol stations. Let me show you what a national road map looks like. Here we have one, and wow, look how cool that is. Okay, now this one is actually from Kimberley or Bloemfontein all the way through to Port Elizabeth. Now there are a few things I want to show you here. First of all, this map has actually got two routes on one map from Kimberley to Port Elizabeth and from Bloemfontein to Port Elizabeth. Let's focus on the Bloemfontein to Port Elizabeth route first of all. Now you can see looking at this it actually shows me the various routes I'm going to have to take in order to get all the way down to Port Elizabeth. On my side of my map I can see I've got certain distance markers. Here they are over there. So for example if I were to travel from Bloemfontein to Tromsberg, don't know why I'd want to go to Tromsberg, but if I go to Tromsberg, I know that from Bloemfontein to Tromsberg, it's a certain distance, okay? And there are four ways I can calculate this distance. Um, method number one, I can look here. It tells me straight away that from this position, which is Tromsberg, to Bloemfontein, it's 114 kilometers. Another way of doing it is saying this. If I start in Bloemfontein and go to Tromsberg, I've got 114 kilometers. If I were coming back, if I were traveling from Port Elizabeth to Bloemfontein, when I got to Tromsberg, I would have already covered 546 kilometers. When I get to Bloemfontein, I would have covered 660. So if I were now to subtract this, and I were to say, uh, 660 minus 546, look what happens. I get 114 kilometers. Okay, so that's three methods. Number one, we've got distance markers over here. Number two, I know, I'm told, if I start from Bloemfontein and go down to Port Elizabeth, en route, I'm going to pass Tromsberg and it's going to be 114 kilometers. If I'm coming from Port Elizabeth and going up, I've got 546 kilometers. I still got to get to 660, subtract the two, and I'm going to get 114. Another way of calculating it is by looking at all these wonderful little markers markers over here. I know from Tromsberg um, through to where this road, the 717, cuts my national road one is 39 kilometers. From um, this point to where that point is, it's 62 kilometers. Then there are four kilometers, another five kilometers. So when I add all those up, I'm also going to get 114 kilometers. Now, the other thing I've got to understand is this, that this road map or this uh, strip map also shows me, for example, where I can put some petrol in. And it doesn't show me all the tiny little petrol stops. It's showing me those big like ultra cities or star shops, you know, those huge petrol stations that you find on the side of the road. And you can see that uh, there's a one stop just outside Bloemfontein. If I'm going along the N1, uh, just outside Colesburg, there's an ultra city and as well there's also a one-star shop. Carrying on along this road, uh, go past Craddock 
and um, traveling along, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, and eventually I get to Port Elizabeth, okay? So, it's showing me what routes I need to travel, and it also gives me an idea of where I can find lovely big petrol stops. Now, let's say I was traveling from uh, Bloemfontein to Port Elizabeth. How would I describe the route to someone? I would say I'm going to travel along the N1. While I travel along the N1, I'm going to pass Tromsberg. Um, I'm going to continue until I get to Colesburg. Once I'm at Colesburg, I'm going to leave the N1 and I'm going to start traveling on the N9. I'm going to continue along the N9 until I reach the National Road number 10 or the N10. I'm going to continue along the N10. Look here, I'm just carrying on and on and on and on along the N10. And eventually, I'm going to reach this highway, which is known as the National Road 2 or N2. And I'm going to follow the N2 through to Port Elizabeth. Right, let's have a look at some questions. So what we've done now is I've taken a little segment of this map and we're going to ask a few questions. How far is Middleburg from Bloemfontein or Kimberley? Okay, so let's have a look. Middleburg, where is Middleburg? Let's find Middleburg, let's find Middleburg, let's find Middleburg. Okay, so Middleburg is over here. How far is Middleburg from Bloemfontein? Well, if I'm traveling from Bloemfontein to Middleburg, I can see it's going to be 322 kilometers. If I'm going from Kimberley to Middleburg, so here's Kimberley, and Kimberley now works on this side of my map, okay? So Kimberley to Middleburg is going to be 398 kilometers. Okay, my next question says this. Um, what is the distance between Trompsburg and Colesburg? Use four methods to find your answer. Okay, so Tromsberg and Middleburg. So let's go for it. And we're going to try, and I'm going to use this map because it's a lot clearer. Tromsberg to Middleburg. So here is Tromsberg and Middleburg we know is down here somewhere. Okay, so here is Middlesburg. Now, folk, we need to do it by four ways. Okay, now obviously in a test or in an exam, they're just going to ask you what is the distance between Tromsberg and Middleburg, and you would just have to calculate that answer using any one of your methods. I'm going to show you the four methods so that you know how uh, we could get that answer. All right, you could use any of the four. The first thing is I can take these markers 101 and 97. I know from Tromsberg to Colesburg is 101 kilometers, and from Colesburg all the way down to Middleburg is 97 kilometers. So when I add those, I'm going to say 101 plus uh, 97, and I get my answer now 208 kilometers. So I know it's 208. Another way I can do it is saying, well, if I'm traveling this way, in other words, going down from Bloemfontein to Port Elizabeth, at this point, I've reached 114 kilometers. At that point, 322. So the difference between 332 and 114 is actually 322 minus 114 gives me 208 kilometers. Another way I can do it is use the red markers. So I'm saying if I'm traveling from Port Elizabeth, to Bloemfontein. When I get to Middleburg, I would have already covered 338 kilometers. When I get to Tromsberg, I've covered 546 kilometers. So I've got 500 and what's it? 46. Okay, 546 minus 338. And I land up then with an answer of 208 kilometers. Another way to do it then is to add all these little numbers here. I'm going to add 22, 6, 40, 43, carrying on 56 and 19 and 72 or 22. And eventually when I add all those up, I'm going to get 208 kilometers. 
Cool. But remember, you would only need to use one method. Okay, another question quickly to do with this graph. How far is Kimberley from Bloemfontein? Ah, now let's have a look at this. This is a bit of a trick. So Kimberley to Bloemfontein, a lot of people say, okay, let's take this distance 660 and that distance 736. Guys, we can't do it because these numbers on the side are dealing with this, uh, uh, this vertical movement, not with this horizontal movement. If that were the case, there would be figures up on the top of the graph and the bottom of the graph. So how could I tell the difference between Kimberley and Bloemfontein? Guys, if I look here, I could take these little figures here. So I know from Bloemfontein to Kimberley, there's a distance of 165 kilometers. Okay, now we don't have a lot of time left, unfortunately, um, but there is so much more we could actually do. When we look at this um, strip map, here's a strip map from Durban to East London, and again it also shows a particular strip. You can see that you're traveling along the N2, Durban through um, along here, through Port Shepston area, Port Edward, not even Port Edward, Port Shepston, we're carrying on on the N2, through Coxstad, uh, past Mount Frere, and then eventually into East London. Okay, so time has come to an end. Let's just have a look what we've done in this session. So in this segment, we've covered the following. We've looked at strip maps, we've analyzed and applied information from these strip maps. All right. Trust you've learned something, and I'm sure we'll see each other again on the screen shortly. Cheers.